dive into that? So as you said, it's heavily skewed. We're going to be doing a lot of PR stunts. So yes. I want to see what that means. So the, the Horizon Rush takeover has taken over everything, including it means the festival takeover, huh? playlist. It means takeover. <laughs> it's in the name. Um, but just to start out, um, series progress at 50%. You'll be getting the uh, Forts Edition Mini Cooper, uh, the one I've just been driving. Uh, Chris can be talking about that later. It's really, really fun. Um, at uh, 160 points, you'll get the Porsche 917 as well. Um, so in the summer, uh, 20 points, you'll be getting the Crossbow GT4. This is a car that's returning from Horizon 4. Um, if you loved it in Horizon 4, you're going to love it in Horizon 5. Fingers crossed. And the Pagani <laughs> Zonda as well. Um, yeah, so what we wanted to do and what's really exciting about Festival Playlist is we kind of want to swap out the type of gameplay that you're doing. Sure. So you're not just going through the motions of doing Seasonal Championship, um, trial, trial, then you uh, play grand games. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And so, uh, so we're kind of swapping out the gameplay and putting mm -hmm. more of a focus on PR stunts this time. Okay. So all of the new PR stunts that we've added, uh, we've actually got gameplay around them as well. So this is sort of like a tour of all the new things that we've added. We had to get the Formula Drift Corvette there, the 720S Spider. Um, but and we've, it's going out because we've completed it previously uh, mm. in run through. <laughs> but you'll you see here there is a new thing, uh, seasonal special, the Horizon Parade. Yes. So this is our new event type, where you basically race in the parade float. It's, so. I don't want to say that we've seen this before, but because we have the thing right there, <laughs> no. it's golden out. It's golden out. Say, <laughs> I will say I watched you do this earlier, and it's the most absurd thing I've ever seen, <laughs> and I loved every second. We're going to be walking through this, by the way. So uh, yeah, don't feel like you have to wait yourself to do this. We're going to show you exactly how strange it is. It's brilliant. So if you've driven the uh, parade float in the uh, the expedition mm -hmm. to set up Horizon Rush, I it's thought back. this is great. I want to drive this more. Well. <laughs> Now is your time. People <laughs> never stop to think whether they should. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whether they could. Um, it is a great laugh, and we're yeah, really excited to, to, for you to get your hands on that. Uh, the photo challenge, PRT time. Right. Yeah. Yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> you lost me now. <laughs> PR, because PR. Um, yeah, alright. So, again, take a picture of the beautiful stage that we've made. Um, moving on. Uh, so, yeah, a brand new car, the Toyota 4Runner. Um, I was driving that earlier, and the Ferrari FXXK. Uh, the 4Runner we'll be talking about later in the stream as well. We have um, a really, some really cool cosmetics that I was talking about with the, the, the takeover. Mm -hmm. We have pinata outfits. Right. So, yeah. we've kind of seeded different <laughs> parts of the outfit throughout Festival Playlist. So, if you complete uh, the Escape uh, Event Lab from Gorilla Jet, you will get a green pinata head cosmetic. Um, sure. And we will look at that later because it's very cool. <laughs> um, and obviously, more PR stunts here that it will be taking you to all the things that we've added, uh, including our treasure hunt as well. Uh, see the stars by taking your spider for a high jump, but beware of the river. We don't want to wash the spider out. Oh, my. Big fan of that. Big yeah. fan. <laughs> Honestly. It's like you not have meetings where you plan all the names and then you just go for what could potentially be the worst one. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that but one's dreadful. Let's yeah, do that. How we always say the pun comes first, the game here comes Absolutely. second. Absolutely. Like, we still haven't got that balance yet. Yeah, you know, that, that PR tape. Tay one, I, I was literally in the meeting. We spent ten minutes talking about <laughs> that. that. That's like the second iteration. We are Tay time. Um, I have to say thank you for putting a smashable in there. That means that yeah, during the season tank. I will get my 100% achievements on the game. Thank you, chat. I'm going to flex just briefly. So thank you for no, no, listening was, to my many you. emails about it. And we have one in real life. Yes, I was one tempted day. to do this one instead and ask for the achievement, but I don't think it would go down so well. I think one, one day we'll. See what's yeah, this already. I team. think it's already planned. I like it. the idea that there's <laughs> there's a third one of you two looking identical in here <laughs> yes. that we'll introduce into the stream, and it's actually triplets. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If we get a close up, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> so, right, okay, okay. Back, back, back to the festival playlist. I've lost back, you. Yeah, too. yeah. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, I'm running with this. Um, right, so uh, winter at 20 points, you'll get the Noble M600, uh, another awesome car that is returning. Uh, and the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL. Uh, moving on. Um, so again, another pinata outfit. This mm -hmm. is a different um, kind of colour pinata outfit. So you get the different heads for that. Because the previous one was green, and this one's orange, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So you do the do both the event lab uh, events, and you'll get the you'll get those. It's uh, Fateful Bliss presents Crazy Carts. 
Um, so have a lot of fun with that one. And Description it, kind of sounds like a threat. <laughs> please keep your hands on the wheel, <laughs> eyes forward, oh, warning. Uh, on the gas. Yeah, it's definitely a warning. <laughs> <laughs> um, again, loads of uh, PR stunts that we're adding here, some really cool cars. Uh, yeah, uh, and, and also we have um, some cosmetics, so uh, we'll talk about this later, but you can kind of rep your favourite PR stunt. We're adding like t-shirts cool. okay. with your different um, PR mm -hmm. stunts. Do you have a favourite PR stunt? Danger signs. Very good. That just, is just the answer. Isn't throw it? the car as far as you can. That is, that is what you, I'm Tommy, about. What are your favourites? I, I like Trailblazer, which... Oh. Hey. My main man Dave, uh, Dave's oh. came up with. So well, is that well. why you didn't say Trailblazer? I was waiting for you to say it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he can't pick his own one. Yeah, I can't pick my own one, but they are, they are pretty good if you ask me. <laughs> um, and yeah, taking a photo, um, hashtag Stunt Paradise, take a photo of any Hoonigan at the stadium stunt park, a car that is perfect for the stadium. Mm -hmm. um, and here, so right, um, this There's is our full new set collectible. There as this well. is the full set. So on the, on the left hand side, you can see the full outfit. <laughs> Um, what you need to smash is this kind of um, pinata car and dinosaur in the car collectible. Yep. Um, we're calling them dinosaur pinatas. Uh, if you smash all of those, you will get the outfit, um, not including the kind of the head. So sure. make sure you do the, the Just event lab. Decapitated. Exa exactly, outfit, and we'll, yeah. we'll show those later. Um, but. This is a, a fantastic car. We have the 2020 Nissan GTR Nismo. Um, this is we've been playing around with this before the stream, and it's so so fun. Chris is going to be talking about this in loads of detail, so make sure you stick around for that. And at 40 points, uh, we have the Honda Civic. So uh, moving through uh, again, some more um, uh, PR stunt T-shirts, and uh, again, loads more PR stunts. We've got another treasure clue, and another photo challenge is to uh, take a picture of the Mitsubishi at the one of the new PR stunts we've added as well. Um, so loads of new stuff, uh, new events, yeah. new PR stunts, so new cars, new stuff. cosmetics. Yeah, just some stuff um, you have mastered. Then, so these new cars, take us through them. Absolutely. So uh, should we start with the car pass cars? Mm -hmm. I just did not mean to do that. Uh, <laughs> you didn't see anything it's then. muscle no. memory. I've raised that from you your memory. Uh, so let's start with uh, the week one's car pass car, mm -hmm. which is the Ford Mustang SVO 1986. So this car is really cool. So with the new generation Mustang that just came out, there's a big thing that Ford are offering it with a 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine. Okay. Um, Ford had actually done that before with this car. Um, so this was mid mid 80s coming off the back of the oil crisis, and they decided for their hot Mustang, they were going to uh, go with the inline four 2.3 litre turbo engine instead, um, which is really different, uh, but it's made it quite a cult icon. Mm -hmm. um, only 10,000 of these were made as well. Um, they oh, weren't right. too popular back when they came out, um, but because of that, they've now got popularity sure. because people love stuff that there isn't many of. Could we fast travel to like a city or something like that so we could yeah, see it all yeah. smashed in lights? It's, it's it looks like a Batmobile here, at the yeah, moment to me. <laughs> Just imagine what it looks like. Yeah, here we go. We'll have a look over here. That's a bit better. It's a bit moody. Yeah, so it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's still, it's still <laughs> night time. It's a black it's car still, at night. There you go. Uh, Stick it underneath one of these lights. There you go. There, go, there you go. Chat knows what this car looks like, I'm not concerned. Yeah, so should we move on to a car that isn't black? Let's yes, uh, that's yes. a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> and again, muscle, <laughs> it's muscle memory, it really is for me. So, uh, and this is also from the well. first week, you can get this one as well. Or is this a different one? When, when, when can we get this next car? Uh, this next one's the second week of Car Pass. Cool, So, yeah. we're driving around in the Forerunner earlier, that's mm -hmm. one of the road cars. Mm -hmm. So in Car Pass, we also have the Tundra. So both are TRDs, which is Toyota Race and Development. And they're both kind of pitched in around um, the Ford Raptor uh, kind of market space. So they're all like hot, but hot for off-roading versions okay. of the, the trucks. Um, I really love these things because I'm a bit of a suspension geek and all the TRD trucks come with uh, internal bypass dampers, which doesn't mean much to many people, but it's it's really <laughs> a uh, a thing that was go back five years only really found in racing, kind of off road racing, and now it's coming into the kind of OEM market. Okay. Um, internal bypass dampers are just a really good way of controlling how the wheel moves uh, over bumps. So 
the, the advantage of us off-road, these things are incredible. Um, and the Tundra, it's the full-size pickup, so it's perfect for if you need to haul stuff around off-road at very large speeds. That is a big one. Yeah, and um, from memory, I think it's 5.7 litre V8, 400-ish horsepower. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's big, but it's very quick. Uh, <laughs> I thought you might have to drive towards the sunrise. Oh, there we go. We can see it there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there you go. There, you there go. we go. It's a little flash. It's a secret. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> so. Of all the times of day to I know, be shown on like, uh, cars. It's a very elusive time of day. <laughs> <laughs> mystery car. So which one we're going to look at next? So next up, so we also saw the Noble M600 in Festival Playlist earlier. Yep. So we also have the Noble M400. Uh, let's jump in that. So this was the car that came before the M600, uh, normally called the M12. The M400 is the track version of it. And this was yeah, Noble's kind of first real foray into making road cars. Um, try and get it in some light there. <laughs> there we go. There it is. So yeah, this th I love these things. Um, partly because they use a Ford Mondeo V6 uh, with twin turbos making like 450 horsepower. Combined with the fact these things are light. I think this is 1,060 kilos, mm -hmm. which is by modern day standards incredibly light for a car. Um, and then with a load of aerodynamic work done to it as well, um, it has a lot of downforce. Um, and yeah, how that goes, isn't it? That's it so really cool. Does. Yeah, this thing's really quite quick. It's sort um, of letting it loose. Yeah. Let's give a minute just, just to listen to it as well. I remember that being one of the most fascinating things for me when we were building up to actually before Horizon came out and we spoke so much about yeah, the audio yeah. and capturing all the sound of all the engines. Yeah, Fr Fraser and the team, they, they really went all out on capturing the cars and there's so much detail there's there's so many sounds going on at the same time yeah mm -hmm. and it all kind of builds to make this a really authentic experience yeah with the uh, the fact we're now we're recording so many cars for, for putting in game i i get to play a fun game of guess the car when it's put onto the car because <laughs> um, we do strive to to match it as closely as possible sure. with a real car um but yeah it's i like guessing cars from their sound <laughs> uh so moving on uh, yeah. Another great sounding car. So this is the other car we have in Car Pass. Hopefully this one stands out a little bit because it's bright yellow. <laughs> so yeah. this I is found blue. that yellow does tend to stand out. It, it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it should be fine. And it does. There you Yay. go. So <laughs> no this is problems. <laughs> the Ferrari 488 Challenge. So the challenge part denotes um, it's part of Ferrari's client uh, racing series. So for years Ferrari had been running the challenge series on their mid-engined uh, sports cars. I um, think possibly going back to the 355, I want to say. Um, it's, it very much is a road car that's being built into a race car. Um, and that's great for, for people trying to get into racing because it's very approachable. So it, it maintains a lot of the assists the road car has, but obviously has uh, things like a huge wing and a, bit, mm. and a few uh, aerodynamic improvements. Um, and things like that. So yeah, it's a really approachable race car that's really quite quick. Yeah, it's quite speedy, isn't it? Yeah, especially driving around Guanajuato as well, which is tight to tight corners and yeah. <laughs> yeah. lots of narrow roads, <laughs> lots of things to smash very into. Very brave. Yeah, very, very brave, but it is, <laughs> it is becoming lighter now, so. Oh, I'll, I'll go back to the speed sunrise, lights. gorgeous sunrise, aren't we? So, yep, they're the four car, car pass cars this month. Mm -hmm. um, I think a really nice selection, personally. Uh, really excited about the M400 yep. coming. Uh, so moving on, let's let's leave the Nissan. Like this person for a while. in this car has just come to a, have a little look. Oh, they've Was stopped. It, yeah, they're like they take a picture. They're just checking oh, that's out the nice. Car. Yeah, they're like get a picture. <laughs> get a picture. <laughs> Shall we have a look at the little Mini you were driving around in yes. earlier? Yeah, yeah. Let's go back people to it. will be really excited for that. Honestly, it's so fun to drive this one. So I'm really pleased with this one. So those that have been with the franchise for a while might know we had a Forza Edition Mini in Forza Horizon 3. We did. Um, this one's a bit different, though. So in Forza Horizon 3, that Mini was a bit of a, a, bit of a rally car. Um, this time, we wanted to do a bit of a nod towards uh, a bit of a, a movement going on in the, the old car scene at the minute, which mm -hmm. is Resto Mods, taking, taking an old car, restoring it, but doing a modern twist to okay. it. Uh, in this case, this car's electric. 
Um, oh, the Mini is perfectly it. placed for it. It's small, it's light. Throw a couple of motors in there, make it all wheel drive, and uh, yeah, that's that's exactly what we've done to this one. It's kind of, I think the bucket for this one's super hot hatch. Uh, it's definitely super hot hatch performance. <laughs> its low speed acceleration is absolutely nuts if we uh, just launch it. Yeah, you're off. You're off. It's great to throw around the stunt park as well yeah. that we've added the, mm -hmm. um, and the uh, and the stadium. Yeah, it's great for like Jim Carnery things. Yeah, like, getting skills with this thing's great. Um, there you go. Really fun it's little a gorgeous car. corner. I know you're supposed to be good at this, but I just want you to know that that was very nice. <laughs> in case you don't hear that enough. That was a good. Oh, that stop was, it that now! Was a good, go on, go on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> just do a stunt stream with just you going around corners really nicely. I'd watch it. <laughs> so, yeah, great little car, this one. And we, it, this also is uh, us starting to add Forza Edition cars in live, which I don't think we did on, on Sunrise. Uh, FH4, sorry. <laughs> Brain not working. So, what have we got well. next then? So, should we have a look at the GTR next? Let's do yes, it. Yes. I, uh, I think this is the car people are probably going to be most this excited for. This is the one. You're so excited. I'm so, about honestly, this time, it's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> it looks so cool. Do you have a particular fondness in real life for it? Have you ever met one before? G GTR is my favourite car by far. Yeah, it's, I just love it. It's another black car, but luckily the sun's coming. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, the the GTR is also a really good example of a car that it's been they've been around for a while. Now, I think about ten years, but Nissan's just been constantly improving them since they first came out. So when it came out, it was a revolutionary car, and it's still really up there with with modern day supercars. Uh, and the Nismos are like the the top of the the GTR classes. Um, and it's all about minor improvements, but lots of them. Um, so some of the facts I love on this, to bring the weight down, uh, the roof is now carbon fibre, save okay. four kilos. The bumpers wow. are carbon fibre, save two and a half kilos. They changed the brake discs from metal to carbon ceramic, that saved 16.3 kilos. Blimey, point wow. 0.3. Yeah, point 0.3, you've got to get the point 0.3 in there. <laughs> um, so it's all about little incremental improvements. The aero package has also been revised, things like you can see these um, vents in the front, mm -hmm. front wheel arches. Uh, they're to aid uh, heat extraction from the engine bay. Um, its, it's downforce has also increased over the previous Nismo, um, but the drag has not increased. And that's a really, really hard thing to do to increase downforce without increasing drag. Um, so it's, again, it's, it's, it's just, it's really about those, those tiny improvements, uh, making a, a big difference overall with it. Um, and it, it drives. Brilliantly. It looks really good to drive. This thing really hauls. Yeah. Are you right there, Dave? I, I love the red, this <laughs> the red trim that kind of goes around. Yeah. It just it's looks got, so good. Got it on the front as well. Yeah, the yeah. The quad exhausts. I love the lights on it as well. It's just, yeah. Yeah, everything about it is just, it's like, it's just the cool one. It, it, <laughs> it's it the really cool is, one. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> From this update, this is the this cool one. This is car. the cool one. Yeah. <laughs> Have a lot of fun with this one. Yeah. Um, it's also incredibly quick around, around track. Uh, yeah, good, good for hot lapping. And, uh, as I snack it, um, <laughs> if we jump to the auto show with it, it's also got a really cool body kit as well. Oh, okay. So if it so didn't look cool enough dives. already, yeah. um, we we'll also have... This charge speed yeah, wide body kit. Amazing. Look at that. And also a couple of wing options as well. Throw a carbon fiber hood on it, and then uh, yeah, nice little spoiler. Really clean look to it. Yeah, uh, yeah, really nice. Do you want to continue working, or shall we get these okay, installed? We drive. I need to do more of that, just going in and editing my cars. I always pick a livery whenever I get a brand new car, and I normally go for something something zany. The, oh, yeah, you've got to. I will go through the ones that are given to me and just find the most, the wildest ones I've made, and I'm like, <laughs> yes, absolutely, that's the one. Someone, um, shout out to DJ Tranis if they're watching, uh, they did a livery for the Trail Cat, which is my favourite car. Still, even from four, it's my favourite. Yeah. Um, and it's got my two cats on it. And really? so, yeah, I love... You, as in your cats? As in my wow. two cats, yeah. Raven and Handsome Jack are on my that car. Is amazing. It's incredible. That is amazing. incredible. Yeah, I just... I, my personality is fully formed by all, like, <laughs> the, the weird sort of, like, anime liveries that you get. So I need to go in and do more of the body kits and the modifications like that and see how that changes the liveries. I've seen a, um, a livery on the, the kind of standard GTR, 
um, where it was, it was. I think it was SpongeBob, but the but the eyes <laughs> oh, were yes. they, like yeah. SpongeBob and Patrick, but the eyes were the brake lights. <laughs> yeah. So like oh they had God. these like glowing red eyes. It's <laughs> like this is really weirdly cool. And they'd just be staring but, at yeah, you yeah, the whole time like, as well. Every time you're playing, they're just like staring deep into your soul. <laughs> um, that yeah, that's a great. That's, that's great too delivery. creative yeah. at that point, <laughs> yeah. I think. Oh, look at that game. This is really going. Yeah, this thing really is a very good car. And if you go past any, but something, something else to call out as well is that all of the um, PR stunts, even if they're not the new ones we've added, they've got a bit of a makeover as well. So oh, they've cool. all kind of branded and themed. So the the flags are different. The speed trap um, has got some confetti and some kind of mm -hmm. dressing on that as well. So you'll notice that as you're driving around, which is cool. Beautiful. Tons of new more pictures to go take then. Exactly. Got these new elements exactly. in the background.